I love comics that tell deeply personal stories, where the stakes are low but real to the characters. Powerful narratives that speak to our greatest fears, but comics are also one of the only mediums where you can go all out buck wild, batshit insane, and shit still works. Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo, and uh, Jonathan Glapian have been a creative team and creative force at DC since 2010, and now at the end of this decade, they're tying together everything that they've done uh, with a truly big, crazy story that speaks to the best of what DC is and to the best of what they've created. But what is death metal? Why does Batman have a necro cycle? Why does Superman have a mullet and a dark side arm? And why does Wonder Woman have an invisible chainsaw? A what? A Joker gut and chainsaw. I did not see that coming. Hi, I'm Dan Unthan, and this is the Doomcast. <laughs> So, death metal, how did we get here? Well, the long story is uh, a whole episode that I need to do, but the short version is that uh, the mother of the multiverse is evil, uh, she tried to turn the entirety of existence into doom, and now the Justice League has failed to stop her uh, twice. Her name is Perpetua and Lex Luthor, and the Batman Who Laughs are her servants. Uh, Batman Who Laughs being a Bruce Wayne from the Dark Multiverse who became infected with the Joker. And alongside them are an army of evil Batman from the Dark Multiverse. And no, not even the same crazy shit that was in Metal, which included an Aquabat, a Bat Lantern, a Flash Batman, Cyborg, Ares, and Doomsday Batman. No, they have truly upped the ante this time. A Batasaurus, a Bat Mage, a Bat Hummet, like a Bat Thulu, I guess. Uh, it's totally bat shit uh, insane. Uh, they've amalgamated uh, portions of the multiverse into a small map with Apocalypse in the east and Hell and Themyscira in the south and a Wasteland off to the west, with Gotham and Castle Bat in the very center. Now, the servants of the Bat who laugh have imprisoned someone mysterious in a dungeon that Diana has been forced to oversee. Uh, it turns out that this prisoner, a reveal that's exciting, and I'm not going to spoil it, uh, he explains how the League set out to go and fight the combined forces of Luthor and Perpetua and the Bat Who Laughs with a final push, and failed again. And now everything hangs by a thread, specifically uh, the one that makes up the lasso of truth, Diana. So it appears their failure led to the imprisonment of most of the League and the loss of most of the multiverse. Uh, Prime Universe Superman is being fused apparently with anti-life and appears to be transforming into Darkseid. Uh, when the Prime Universe Batman shows up on a motorcycle made of <laughs> dragon bones with a scythe uh, to rescue Diana and her prisoner and to find a way to rescue Clark, uh, he attacks by using a black lantern ring to create an army of the dead which did not apparently include his parents. <laughs> apparently, this is not a Batman who laughs. And the first issue is insane. It's wild and over the top in the very best of ways and icing on the cake of a story that truly began way back in the first issues of Batman that this creative team did. Uh, continued into Metal and into Justice League uh, against Perpetua and Lex Luthor and now finally this. Uh, and it's a promising wrap up to complete maybe Doomsday Clock too based on some of the hints that are in there. I'm not spoiling, you really should read it. Uh, and it might be a connecting thread, finally, for all of DC continuity. Finally! Uh, yeah, if you're gonna do an over-the-top world-ending event, uh, then do them at the actual end of the world, right? <laughs> like, right now, I'm not in the mood necessarily for pithy comics. I mean, I am, I always am, but yeah, let's, let's do something crazy like this. Make your most powerful icons of justice. Force them to do stuff straight out of a Motorhead album cover art or a Frazetta painting. Figure out how to put Detective Chimp in there. Fuck it, I don't care. Bring Martian Manhunter back and put some goddamn respect on his name this time. Anyway, this is one wild and crazy story so far, and one that I have been hoping to see the end for uh, since their run on Justice League ended. Uh, so we'll recap this whole event once it's completed. But till then, uh, stay metal, everybody. This has been the Doomcast.